Morning guys, we're uh, back out on the line here, just uh, it's just the next day after that last video where I uh, tried the drone, so I'm taking it back out to see if I can get some calmer weather in the evening and, and I'm staying overnight to see what it's, if it's okay in the morning to, to do some filming. But I just thought I'd stop here and come off on a little side trail on the way in. It's almost... Uh, well, it's got to be 6 o'clock by now, so I'm just going in for the evening and then spending the night and heading back. I'm going to head up to the lodge tomorrow to finish closing up and everything, but I just thought I would, uh, like I said, come in here and check for beavers. And apparently, well, the little trail here where they're cutting. Some feed down in there. Oops. Got a start of a little feed bed there. Probably two beavers in here. We trapped it out two years ago and there was nobody here last year. So, anyways. Beautiful evening. If I was at the camp already, I'd get that drone going right now, but I'm just a short ways away, so maybe I'll uh, have some time to take a flight when I get there. Let me see over there. That spot where I, on the way in yesterday, I called. Oh, shoot, the wind just changed right around on me. I was blowing from here out into the cutover. I just wanted to show you something. I just drove over it. It wasn't here yesterday. Thing, but sometimes you can get them there so strong you can smell them from 50 feet away. Heard a bull answer me. Long ways away. I 
shut the camera off and call again and then I'll turn it back on if I get the thing in closer. going guys I'm at the camp and I decided not to get the uh, drone going tonight I'll do that in the morning of course knowing my luck it'll be a bloody storm in the morning but anywho I decided to get my my power hooked up and it's alive I have electricity now all I gotta do is, I've got the uh, batteries all charged from, they were plugged into the solar panel where it was shining through the winter or the window last year and it's still holding a charge good enough for light, so that's pretty cool. So I will hook up that solar panel up on the outside tomorrow. I'm fairly sure I have hinges here, but I better or else I can't hook it up. But anyways, I will get that drone going. And this is such a nice spot here, this rapid running by. You know, there's good and bad with the, the rapids. You know, the good being it's so peaceful and I'll put you to well, not like I've ever had any trouble sleeping anyways, but I'll just... Oh, yeah, see, it's working right now. It'll, uh, a nice melody to put you to sleep at night, but the problem is you can't hear any moose calling, you won't be able to hear any wolves howling unless they're right close by. but you take what you can get and there's no real lake to put a cabin on on my trap line that's you know, really big at all. Fish Lake is big enough, but it's right on a well-traveled route and I'm not, I'm not doing that. Put a cabin out here to get away from people, not to have every Jackass that drives by stop and visit me. So, anyhow, it's a beautiful night, and I'm gonna go cook me some supper. Oh, that reminds me, I better do a, a joke later on tonight. I got a couple that I I kept meaning to do, but I ran out of time. So. Anyways, we'll uh, probably see you in the morning. Well, I uh, will see you in the morning, but it might be sooner if I find something interesting happening. So. Alrighty, later. I'll leave you to the melody of the river. Go to sleep, go to sleep. Oh, that made me seasick, sorry. Yeah, also on Dimension, cut myself a real nice takeoff spot for the drone. Right through there. No more wiggling around. Just up and at them. So. Daylight fades, and another wonderful day in the Northland comes to an end. Gee, that's pretty sappy. But it was a beauty day. It's three, four days, three days before October 1st. 
and I'm swatting mosquitoes. Got a couple frosts already, but nothing really, really serious. So, you know, with this warm weather the last couple days, they woke back up. But anyways, time to go to the light. Go to the light, care. Oh, Caroline. Oh yeah, that's that movie. All right. Clean up time. Sweep the floor. Do some dishes. Organize. All righty. Anyways, Norm, here's that solar panel. I bought at Canadian Tire for. It was on sale for, I think, 80 bucks. Let me see, maybe the price tag is still on. Here's the box here. It's a Coleman 40 watt, 12 volt crystalline solar panel kit with stand. Comes with your. The only thing it doesn't come with is your inverter. And there's no, no price tag on it, but I'm pretty sure it was 50% off and. I got it for like $80. You know, Norm was asking and looking for what kind would be awesome. Well, this one is pretty awesome. So, later. So guys, I'm pretty much done for the day here. Well, I mean doing stuff. Cleaned up pretty good in the camp, but an odd thing is, now I know there's been a few people in here, but why would somebody steal my broom? That's just too weird. But it is gone, so who knows. I'm just sitting down for some supper. Just kind of a plain supper today. We got half a can of click fried up with a half a can of chili on top and some bread. And that's what I'm going to have for breakfast in the morning too before I get too crazy. But just sitting here writing in my book trying to figure out uh, what I can do some stories on. So if anybody has any ideas, let me know. I think... I have pretty much done uh, everything uh, I had in this list, but it's hard to say because you know how my memory is, and I'm in the process of writing my second book, and a lot of the stuff that I have on this list is in that book, so I don't know whether I've actually done a story time on it or if it's just uh, I'm just thinking I did because it's, I wrote it in the in the book but anyways I guess some of it you're gonna have to buy the book to hear it so anyways oh that's yummy so if you uh Have anything you do a story about story time or if whatever, just uh, let me know and I will try and get one done if uh, I know anything about it. So, alrighty. I should bring my computer in here now that I have power and I can do a, I can do some writing to get that task completed. So anywho. Alrighty. That is good shit, man. Uh, that's what I can do. I gotta.
sharpen my chainsaw after supper. Yeah, I know. It's like 10 o'clock and I'm just having supper, but... Oh well, I was busy. Sue me. Later. Morning, guys. Welcome to coffee time in Canada. The sky is brightening up a little bit. The sun's uh, still half an hour away from being up, but nice brisk morning at just uh, 30 degrees Fahrenheit, so minus one Celsius. Beautiful day. We'll just let the sky get a little brighter before I uh, do the drone flight so we can get some good light on the uh, on the scenery. Cool enough this morning that I got a fire going inside. Of the sounds of a trapper's cabin waking up, wood popping in the fire, water boiling on the stove. Awesome. hang out down along the river here. They're all in the cutovers most of the time, so they never know might get one answering that's crossing back and forth looking for a, a girlfriend, so. until uh, I get ready to fly. Sound good? Or until something, some critter wanders by, if that happens. Hey guys, I'm just going for a walk down the trail here. I think my camera lines are dirty. Sunlight's too bright. Anyways, just wanted to show you something. Um, I don't know if you ever seen any axe throwing in the, uh, you know, contest in the mountain man contest or whatever they call it. But you know, the secret for throwing an axe is knowing what distance to be from your target. Uh, shouldn't have hit it in the knot, I guess. It's Too hard. Anyways, I'm gonna find a place where it's not, the sun's not shining right in the face of this thing. So you throw it, you just gotta know because when you throw your axe, it's always gonna turn over in the uh, same amount of turns you just got to get that down pat and then know exactly how far from your target you want to be so like my first throw went in right there and then the second one you I hit this blaze which is just too hard to for the axe to stick into so I mean that's always good to know for if you're in the bush without a gun in you you're hungry and you need some partridge meat to eat. 
because you can throw your axe at a, a bird all day long and if you don't know how far you need to be from your target before you throw you're probably just going to end up missing them so like whoop still got to get it the right direction or, I mean the right angle like I said I've killed lots of grouse with rocks, sticks, axes Oh, looks like there is beavers up there again. They've got some, I think. Anyways, we'll go check. <laughs> Hitting the tree is one thing. Getting it to stick in is a, another thing. You see what I mean? you got to be dead center. going to be okay so let's aim for that fresh blaze right there well, it's fairly close but just off but it would have been a dead partridge anyways We're gonna go for a walk down here, see if these beavers are still here. Or I guess not still here. I think I, there was only two here last year and I took them both out, so we'll go find out. Alrighty, we'll see you down the trail. <laughs> 